all the information provided here belongs to their respective owner. I or the channel does not claim any rights over them. Hello everyone, I am Shahan Laik. I am a third year MBBS student and today I will discuss about ciprofloxacin and theophylline drug interaction. So what is uh, ciprofloxacin and theophylline drug interaction? Before that, let us learn about ciprofloxacin. So what is ciprofloxacin? Ciprofloxacin, let me take uh, the brush for you. Okay, now C. Ciprofloxacin is fluoroquinolone antibiotic. So it is a kind of antibiotic and it is fluoroquinolone antibiotic, ciprofloxacin. And its bactericidal effect, it has, ciprofloxacin has bactericidal effect. So that means, what is the meaning of the term bactericidal? Bactericidal means that it can kill the bacteria, bacterio Cidal. Cidal means killing. So bactericidal effect means it can kill the bacteria. How it kills? Due to inhibition of DNA. Due to inhibition of DNA. DNA guidates. Due to inhibition of DNA guidates. So DNA guidates is a kind of enzyme that can be found in gram negative bacteria. So DNA guidates when it is inhibited then that can kill the bacteria. So DNA guidance that is present in the gram negative bacteria that is inhibited. So and the next important thing is topoisomerase. Topoisomerase, uh, topoisomerase 4, topoisomerase 4 that is present in gram positive bacteria. So ciprofloxacin target two important enzyme. One is an enzyme of gram-negative bacteria, that is DNA gyrase, DNA gyrase, which is a uh, gram-negative bacteria containing enzyme. Uh, and the next is topoisomerase 4. So topoisomerase 4 is an uh, enzyme that is present in gram-positive bacteria, topoisomerase 4, topoisomerase 4, that is present in gram-positive bacteria. So ciprofloxacin will inhibit these two enzymes. One is DNA guidance in, uh, in gram-negative and topoisomerase 4, which is in gram-positive. So by inhibiting these two, back, these two uh, enzymes, uh, eventually it will uh, kill the bacteria. So it has a bactericidal effect. So ciprofloxacin has a bactericidal effect. It kills the bacteria with the help of inhibition of the two important enzyme that is the guidase, DNA guidase that is in negative gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacteria topoisomerase uh, uh, 4. The next is ciprofloxacin inhibit inhibit uh, CYP1A2, CYP, CYP1A2, CYP1A2, can you see this? CYP1A2, ciprofloxacin inhibit, CYP1A2, gets metabolized in liver and excreted by the kidney. So what does ciprofloxacin do? What is the action, mechanism of action? Basically, ciprofloxacin is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic which, which has bactericidal effect. I told you two enzymes are inhibited. One is DNA guidase and another is topoisomerase uh, 4. Another thing is ciprofloxacin inhibit CYP1A2, CYP1A2. And ciprofloxacin gets metabolism in the liver, get metabolized in the liver and excreted in the, by the kidney. So you can understand about ciprofloxacin. You got a basic idea what is ciprofloxacin. Before learning ciprofloxacin theophylline interaction, we will learn about, uh, the, we, are, we are learning about the ciprofloxacin. What is that? It is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic. Now let us learn about the theophylline. What is theophylline? Theophylline is a, a methyl xanthine. So, theophylline is a methyl 
xanthin theophylline is a methyl xanthin basically this is used in the asthma basically in the treatment of the asthma when uh, in the asthma patient you know uh, a kind of bronchial const uh, constriction occurs so there is a contraction of the bronchial smooth muscles and the bronchus become uh, uh, full of secretion and the bronchus is jammed so the airway and constriction of the airway of the bronchus uh, happens and so uh, we can give theophylline because theophylline is a methyl xanthin and what is the work of methyl xanthin the work of theophylline that is methyl xanthin is is to open up the airway to open up to dilate the bronchial tree to uh, to increase the lumen diameter of the bronchus so that the person can now breathe well so that is the action of theophylline ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic and theophylline is a anti uh, bronchial asthma drug you can understand and theophylline is metabolized by 8 hydroxylation resulting in 1,3-dimethyluric acid. So, what is the met me metabolism process of theophylline? Theophylline is metabolized by 8-hydroxylation. Basically, this is a process, 8-hydroxylation. Hydro 8-hydroxylation is a procedure by which theophylline is metabolized and as a result, 1,3-dimethyluric acid is formed. Dimethyl. 1,3-dimethyl. 1 and 3 has two methyl groups. So, 1,3-dimethyl uric acid is formed 1 3 dimethyl uric acid is formed from the theophylline which is a methyl xanthine now you can understand what is ciprofloxacin it is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic and what is theophylline it is a methyl xanthine that is used in bronchial asthma now you got the basic idea of what is ciprofloxacin and what is theophylline now let us uh, proceed but before proceeding let me delete all this and let us move upward now mechanism what is the mechanism of action okay now for mechanism purpose let us learn about this that 8 hydroxylation process is dependent on p450 system so this 8 hydroxylation procedure i told you about 8 hydroxylation procedure that is a procedure by which the metabolism of theophylline is uh, done so 8 hydroxylation is a chemical procedure, is a, a chemistry by which uh, the theophylline is metabolized in our body to form the, uh, the dimethyl uric acid is formed. So you can understand eight, this 8 uh, hydroxylation procedure is dependent on P450 system. P450 system. It depends on P450 system and mainly it depends on this that is CYP1A2 and CYP3A4. So CYP, CYP1A2 and CYP3A4 3, 3 are these two. Basically, so 8 hydroxylation procedure is dependent on P450 system and it also depends mainly on the CYP1A2 and CYP3A4. Now ciprofloxacin, you can remember ciprofloxacin inhibit CYP1A2. Now you can uh, understand ciprofloxacin actually inhibit as it is a, a fluoroquinolone antibiotic, it can inhibit the uh, CYP CYP1A2, it inhibit CYP1A2 and inhibit and eventually this will inhibit the 8 hydroxylation procedure and uh, this will, uh, this can, can significantly raise the serum concentration level of theophylline. So, what happens? Basically, ciprofloxacin is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic and it will inhibit CYP1A2. This is the mechanism of action. How they are interacting? How they are? There must be something common between ciprofloxacin and uh, theophylline. And what is the common thing? The common thing is the inhibition of CYP1A2. Now, now theophylline, at first remember, theophylline dependent on the P450 system that is cyp one a2 you can remember that that is the 8 hydroxylation procedure in the 8 hydroxylation procedure it is uh, cyp1a2 and cyp3a4 all these are needed 
you can remember in case of the theophylline uh, theophylline metabolism theophylline metabolism in case of the again i am telling remember in case of theophylline metabolism that is eight hydroxylation procedure uh, cyp1a2 and cyp3a4 are required and what does ciprofloxacin do? Ciprofloxacin inhibit CYP1A2. As ciprofloxacin inhibit CYP1A2, so this will eventually stop the process of metabolism of theophylline and this will eventually inhibit the process of metabolism of theophylline that is inhibit the 8-hydroxylation procedure and eventually the serum concentration of the theophylline will increase. So you can understand how the two Two drugs are interacting theophylline they need to metabolize they need to do the process of 8 hydroxylation and they they are dependent this 8 hydroxylation procedure dependent on cyp1a2 and cyp3a4 now ciprofloxacin they inhibit ciprofloxacin do not like cyp1a2 so it inhibits cyp1a2 as it inhibits ciprofloxacin cyp1a2 inhibition as it does C, uh, inhibition of cyp1a2 then it eventually uh, inhibit the 8 hydroxylation procedure and even Eventually, the metabolism procedure of the theophylline is not done as the theophylline is not metabolized in the body so theophylline will be more concentration the serum concentration of the theophylline will be increased and this will lays in significant level of the theophylline you can understand what is the mechanism by which these two drugs when they are given together they are interacting with each other commonly with the help of the uh, CYP 1A2 you can understand now uh, let us move forward let me clear all these up and let us learn about the last part that is the result so what is the result what we can see what uh, we can conclude or actually what is the result next is theophylline has a narrow therapeutic in the, uh, window you have to understand that theophylline act in a very small therapeutic window the window of action of the of the therapy action of the theophylline is very small in a small particular part it acts so um, the therapeutic window is very small narrow therapeutic uh, therapeutic in window next is so little increase in the concentration may result in toxicity the therapeutic index uh, therapeutic window is very uh, less so if there is an increase in the concentration this will result in toxicity characterized by so when there is a theophylline increase this will result in trachycardia this will result in restlessness this will result in agitation images and cardiac arrhythmias so the person will be having trachycardia a greater heart increase in the heartbeat and increase and different kinds of arrhythmias the rhythm change will occur in the heart agitations images vomiting all these restlessness the person will feel all these things because he has a high concentration of theophylline in the body and the theophylline toxicity has occurred why this has occurred because the theophylline has been combined with ciprofloxacin so while treating a asthma patient if you have given theophylline remember you should not give ciprofloxacin antibiotic with theophylline because ciprofloxacin combines with theophylline um, actually interact with uh, theophylline how it interacts with the help of the cyp1a2 because ciprofloxacin inhibits cyp1a2 which is actually needed in the 8 hydroxylation procedure of the theophylline and so the metabolism the proper metabolism of theophylline is inhibited by ciprofloxacin and as uh, it is inhibited so uh, the theophylline will be more in the serum serum concentration of the theophylline will be increased and this will eventually lead to increase in toxicity of the um, of uh, increase uh, in the mm, uh, toxicity of theophylline because theophylline has a very narrow therapeutic window so when it is given when it is there in our blood in our serum in more concentration this results in different kind of toxicity and this will be characterized by trachycardia restlessness 
agitation, emesis, and eventually uh, cardiac arrhythmias can also occur. So the remark, so what is the remark? What is the remark? Theophylline should not be added with ciprofloxacin. Theophylline should not be given with ciprofloxacin. Okay. Now, if you like uh, our effort, if you like uh, our video contents, please make a thumbs up and subscribe our channel. And please share this channel with uh, your friends. We have already crossed 650 plus subscribers and we have uploaded 200 plus free medical videos for helping MBBS students in studies. Bye bye.